Morning, everybody. Travis with Nadex. Let's talk about what's going on today. Happy Friday to everybody. A lot going on, a lot to talk about. Again, very much a headline-driven market. Strength in the U.S. indices. Strong day yesterday. Had a strong session overnight. That NASDAQ 100 went limit up, so it hit that 5% upper threshold. We've since come off of that. So across the board, we're still higher in the U.S. indices, about 2.5% in the S&P and Dow, 3.5% in the NASDAQ. We'll see if we can hold that into the cash open, which we're about an hour away from uh, as we speak right now. Currency side, we had an eight-day run in the dollar, stronger against virtually every major currency pair. Uh, that has since reversed. So last night, we saw strength in the euro. We saw strength in the British pound. We saw strength in the Aussie. Again, we had some crazy levels in those currencies as of recently. We are seeing a little bit of a reversal there, but something to keep your eyes on uh, as there's weakness in the dollar today. Uh, and again, we are seeing, seeing strength in some of those foreign uh, currency pairs. So going to be another interesting day uh, in the foreign, uh, foreign currency market uh, with opportunities uh, to be had, uh, certainly there. On the commodity side, oil, uh, historic move to the downside two days ago, historic move to the upside yesterday. In the overnight session, we were about 2% higher in oil as we speak right now, heading into the open. Um, so we'll see what happens on the oil side. Do we continue to see this strength? Uh, any reversal in the oil market to the downside could impact the U.S. indices, as we've seen lately, um, where you, you have that correlation um, in negative in oil, negative in the stock market, so on and so forth. So keep your eyes posted there. One last thing of note, uh, jobless claims. Uh, President Trump came out last night asking on a state-by-state -state basis he would prefer they do not release a jobless claim number, only the federal government does on a weekly basis. Um, Goldman Sachs put a note out last night saying next week they see the jobless claim number being as high as 2 million um, or, or more. Now, put that in perspective, the highest we've ever seen was 695,000 back in the early 80s. So 2 million, massive number. That's a number that can certainly move the markets. Uh, we have a jobless claim contract here at Nadex that actually allows you to predict that number. Uh, so an opportunity to be had there, uh, as well as a non-farm payroll number. So uh, if that's something that interests you, it's a number that uh, you're curious about, you can actually go into that Nadex market under events, look for the jobless claim number and make your prediction. So a lot of opportunities to be had still. We got a VIX sitting at 68-ish. Uh, give or take, um, best pricing in roughly a 4% move daily uh, in the market. Uh, so yes, there are opportunities out there. We're going to continue to see this volatility. Uh, we're going to continue to have headlines move in this market. So we'll continue to update uh, our me social media channels. I'll continue to do these videos. We're going to do everything possible at Nadex to get you the information you need to be successful. Uh, so again, business as usual here at Nadex, we're all doing good. Yes, we're in our uh, self-isolation, but we're feeling great. We hope you're doing well uh, as well um, and hope everybody just has a great Friday. So hopefully we'll talk soon again today. If not, keep posted on those social channels and good luck today, everybody. Take care.